fall. Top lane again. Telekinesis onto the tide. They've got the earth spike as well as the spear. Yang trying to run the Kraken shell, almost helping him survive, but they've got the arena to lock him down. They aren't killing him just yet. And now the Ravage comes in and he's getting stolen. Somnus goes to the back lines. He's trying to stop this Ravage from coming out, and that's exactly what he's going to do, getting a kill on a fade. And they never killed off Yang. Soulbind, well placed. And now another Eclipse coming out from Eros with the BKBB pop. The Soulbind will connect the Medusa over to this Mars after killing off this Abaddon. And they're going to go and look for more. They smell blood in the water, and they really want to pounce on it. Chalice getting low. Illusory Orb over to the... Probably, at least. We're gonna take the axe. Buyback from the line. I don't think they want to give this up. They're starting to come over, but is it gonna be in time? They'll use that Shiva's. Don't get oh. the ravage in! It's gonna be in time! Nobody got the BKB off the clutch left! Oh my god! It was on to four! They get the kill on a red panda! They'll take out Field Chauba! And now D Stones, he snatches the Aegis in the Torrent Storm and the crazy storm that is this fight. He gets himself the Aegis and he's gonna be back up once again. But it's not looking like he's gonna be able to survive. The sun is right there with him. They've got the bushwhack to follow it up. They'll get the kill on the D Stones and FY making his presence felt with this hoodwing and that was absolutely astounding what he was able to do hunters boomerang the damage out onto the tempest double and they'll get themselves through this vision they know exactly where they are they want to make the move they've got yours coming in from the side though oh silar going by himself first spike misses but they've got the silence the waning rift is there they have the control the it comes out from silar he's quite tanky there's the dream coil token he says coming out from fade he's staying over to the side just in case the ravage is thrown by yang and they haven't even gotten that out yet so he doesn't look like he'll even throw it, at least before this first life is gone to the Medusa. Arena over to the side, it only catches FY now. What will he still? He'll still the good. Ravage. He's gonna get in there. They get the kill on Osiris. They're gonna look over the Zulgunabu. He comes out of the Yang and the still don't have the damage. Eclipse onto the ground and they get the kill on X Nova. There's the Ravage coming in, but do they have the damage? The right click's coming out from XM. He's got the BKB once again. They get the kill on the Yers. They look over at Yang. Can they finally kill this tide? Spear lands on Asomnus. The damage out of the puck with the two-man earth spike and the finger on the XM. They get the kill on a fade as well. They'll take out four. They'll look for the full team wipe. But Charles is on the run without mana. And Yang's right in front of him. There's the anchor smashing. Swell looking for the stun, and they'll get it. Triple kill for FY. Full team wipe for Elephant. It won't be enough to kill Yuris just yet. They are rotating over Silent the line. The Could help out. And now they've got the finger as well as the air spike. They'll get the kill. The calling blade comes in, and Yuris ends up dead. Siler over mid. He's getting chased and killed off by Yang. They made the play. The TPs just aren't in time. However, Somnus, good impale from Super to keep Somnus alive. The battle hunger and the Sunray, though. That will, he's burning in out. fact, burn out Somnus. No, he's surviving, at least for now. The battle hunger not looking like it's going to be enough. They've got the call. There's the supernova. They don't have a way to kill off the egg, but they've got the two-man stun. They'll start to run on Yang. Hex running. Supernova doesn't land. Blinking forward, going after this Tidehunter, but they still don't have the damage to get the kill just yet. And now he'll move over to the side and use that Ravage. That lands on a three of these heroes, and they'll bring back in Somnus. They've also got FY. They need to be careful on E-Home. They'll take out Super. They'll trade X Nova, and now they'll lose Chalice. Despite the fact that he pops the blade mail, it's not enough to get the kill on any of these elephant heroes. And now they leap forward. You I mean? Do they have the stun? They do. Somnus grabs it. There's the arrow. FY revenge over on the X. ATM is rolling. And now they're gonna look over for this little track. They've got the arena down as well as the ghost ship coming in. He's so tanky. Doesn't look like it's even He's taking damage. Uh, scratching the surface of this little track. They use this primal split. They're trying to run Red Panda back. They'll get the TP out. But not for zero this damage. brew. And he's healing up more than they can damage him with the pulse nova. Ooh, going in, trying to make yeah, something dog. happen. God's rebuke, TA in a little bit of trouble, and that's going to be a dead Somnus. So maybe the high ground defense is there. Earth Spike lands. The Ravage comes out, and they will get the kill on a red panda. Take out five by Look over the Tempest double. The silence on to Eurus for a moment as they buy back on this Mars. Eurus trying to survive, and he's pushed back with that spear, but they get the hex. There's More back the gun. Mars. Earth Spike. Is it going to be enough here to lock him down and get the kill? Yes, it will be. He's dead for 104 without buyback. And the torrent comes out again. It's just not doing the damage that they need. They'll throw the acorn shot. They've got themselves the hex. The ghost ship comes through out onto Eurus. But still, they cannot kill this little Shrek. And they'll try to throw these right clicks out from this Tempest double. But it still doesn't feel like enough. Trying to drain the mana, trying to keep Eurus alive. The Eurus spike lands onto the Tempest double. Super is probably sacrificing himself for the greater good. If you aren't... They're looking to fight here, potentially. 
Spike Carapace, Icarus Knife, Supernova, they're gonna get the Aegis out on the Somnus. They'll blow up the egg, they go after Sylar, who uses that Stone Gaze, the Earth Spike, as well as the Finger, can get the kill here out onto the Terror Blade, he's silenced, and yours will die! They picked up the Aegis out onto the Lashrac, and now they're gonna go and focus their attention on the Sylar, who pop the Mantle, but they've gotten themselves the Ravage that hits on the Chalice, as well as Sylar, they get the kill onto the Medusa, and take out this Axe! Three heroes dead on the side of Ehome, they did get the kill onto the TB. For the double Ravage, but he does have the Refresher Shard, and an Aegis. And not a Ravage. Blink easier to Ravage coming through onto the Conquer. They've got the Gush, but the Arena comes down. They're going to themselves potentially a kill here on a D-Stone. They're going to come to the Conquer. The end is going to be Brock on Red Banner. That means he's going to be able to get himself off the Primal Split with BKB being popped by Super as well as it's a track. But Fallen Sky, that comes in. They've got the Torrent. The Gush comes through. Eurus, he's getting over the Earth Spike. Lands from Super on this Mars. Up in the air again. The Torrent Storm is going to be used here. They've got the damage to get the kill on the Eurus. He's going to be dead for 100 seconds. He buys back. Sonnet, right now, he's trying to hide himself under the shroud of these trees. And yeah, he has no buyback. They throw in the finger, but it's not going to be enough damage to get the kill on a flyby. He's going to pop the beat. Maybe they'll go for Yang and they're going to take out this Aegis. Divine Rapier, God King, it's right there next to your Tempest Double. Somebody pick up the Divine Rapier. As well as your base, it's in some trouble to take out the tier four. At least one of them, Yang moving in. They've got the Nova Fire bouncing off in a low, so that goes back on a Yang with the Gush hitting on a Red Banner, as well as this Tempest Double. They get the kill out of the Tempest Double, but everybody's alive on the side of RNG, as well as Elfin. Divine Rapier, whose hands is it in at the moment? It's into the hands of Punka. Old school name, but it's a very nice name. Like, reminds me of no, a very I don't, beautiful, I don't smart it. lady. Blink Call coming through. Euros. They've got the taunt on the little track, and now they're going to follow that up with the Air Spike. The Impale misses, but the right click's coming in from Eurus with the BKBB pop by Chalice. Battle Hunger placed on Super. Icarus dive over. They'll go to the finger. Somnus now trying to run. Moonlight Shadows out with the Lotus Sword, but now the Guardian Greaves. They'll get the save out onto the little track. They've got the damage to kill off Fade while he's in the Supernova. The stun hits from this little track onto Chalice, so they've taken out two, and they don't have buyback available on the axe. They need to slow down Silar, make sure that he doesn't get into the base, and now they'll get the Ravage, but it's into the Stone Gaze. They look over. Three man Earth Spike. Is it going to be enough? It's now four heroes turning to stone but the damage is just too much for ehome to handle they'll call G rocket flare behind the tower there yeah and that's gonna see fy and now they're gonna look for the hook shot it actually misses fy's gonna lose his courier anyway and that's on the aether lens they're gonna dive this they'll use the primal split the sharpshooter goes off but it's not gonna do anything and now you need to be careful with these pandas chrono comes out on it too do they have the damage the wall's in the static link it's out on the Eurus, and this isn't looking good the earth is gonna come through and get the kill on the fade chalice getting low he'll fall two years down the side of ehome but they are gonna get Eurus. They'll Sunder, they'll look over at Yang, who's trying to take out X-Nova as a plus one, potentially even XM, blink forward, goes for it, XM gone, X-Nova might be next! Sylar left on his own, the sleep lands again from Super, and Somnus, he's, he's looking to see if he's got the damage to get this kill, he's already used the Sunder, he'll get the kill on the Super, he looks over at Yang, might have the damage to do so, one more click, yes he does, and Sylar might walk away from Somnus, trap down, conjure Tumbling. image, and now Somnus, he just needs to blink right on him and the meld strike, and it will be a full team wipe for Elephant, but that is a... Got the Ags, and he wants oh, to just use both so Primal Splits. Ah, <sighs> 3k health on the Roshan. It can die in an instant, both teams, pretty much. They're both just staring Sinibur. each other down. Cinderbrew thrown into the pit, hookshot, hookshot on the back lines. He was looking for Yang, but now the Chronos Reload's gonna land into two. They got the Melstrike that hits onto the Clockwork. The damage onto Chalice doesn't feel like enough, but they've got the Earth Splitter coming in. They've got the Cold Embrace that's gonna keep alive this Clockwork. Melstrike with the Blue Strike, landing on both those heroes. They get the kill on the Chalice as well as Fade. They'll buy back on this Clockwork. They've got the Static Link, and now they're going with the Winter's Curse to get the kill on the Sonnets as well as Yuris. They'll take out the TA, and Yuris is in trouble. He doesn't have a Chrono to work with. Yang losing these pandas needs to be careful. Bushwhack doesn't come in. X Nova getting low. Cold Embrace surviving Cut for now. And, and, he can't get the split up with the battery, so they get the split, but it's too late. They'll buy back on this brew once again as he's got himself that second primal split. They don't want to allow them to get this Aegis inside the pit. The wall's yeah, still down. The FY the Acorn everything. shot as well as the bushwhack. They won't be able to get the landing there. But now Time Walk in trying to get the Aegis. It's still on the deck. It's still on the deck. And it's snatched by Eurus. He finally picks it up. They've got the cold embrace that's going to come out on X. And so he'll survive for a little bit longer with the static click out on Eurus. And now the plasma field. One more, two more right clicks. Not going to be enough to get the kill on the face of Void just yet. But they look over now. It's super. Super, who's within the cogs, they get the kill on X Nova, and it is Yang doing so much with this fight. Moving forward is FY Acorn Shot, time dilation out on the XM, slowing them up, and Chalice trying to do it again to save himself this Razor. Chalice, Surge, as well as the Vacuum, does he have enough? It's not looking likely, there it is, there's the kill onto 
XM! Chalice, yeah, Silar, Fade, all focusing their attention on the Yang. They're gonna try and chase down this Brewmaster. Brewmaster, 38 seconds without the Primal Sweat. They land the sweep onto the clock ring. Now they look over at Chalice with the Earth, sitting away with the right click. They'll get the kill into the darts here. TV, he's low. Bash out on a Fade. FY taking a lot of damage here, but now the Hookshot comes out onto this Squirrel that is Hoodwing. Hoodwing dead. Fade gets the kill, and Yuris will be able to walk away. He's held on to this Aegis. Or, uh, I hate double damage runes in late game, to be honest, if you have the bottle. Just Ooh, they're everything. coming over to the side. Oh my god, yeah! <laughs> A five-man Ravage! He was preemptively ready for that one! X Nova goes down, and now they're gonna use the Stone Gaze. They've got the Supernova. Is this is gonna go away for the side of Home? It's not looking likely, but they might be able to get the kill on the Simon, so use the going way to get the kill. Supernova goes off. They look over at Yang. Eurus is gonna join the fight. They got the disarm out of the Medusa. Icarus dive away. FY on this. They're gonna lose the Medusa. Silar's in the right on the screen already. And FY leaping forward, but on the other side of the fight, they've got the right clicks coming into the Chalice. They get the kill onto the Axe, and FY. I continue to move forward. He's got the Moonlight Shadow looking over at Fade. Can he get this kill? He does have the Yules. He's got to time it right. He's all by himself, though. Yeah, he has no help to go for this, and it looks like he won't even make the attempt. System, so he's going to be stunned for a long time. But kind of like a play, shock, no cleaning. 45 seconds Order. left on the cliff. Yuris. Blinking in forward with the BKB. They're going to go after this throne. Try and get it down with the BKB. Be popped by Yuris. He's going to pop the refresher and still trying to stay in here. Ghost ship coming through. Now the Wind Waker. It's a ghost ship fleet. Wind Waker all the way back with the BKB still on Yuris. He's trying to run away from this one now. Sonic with the right clicks over onto the pandas. They've got the Ravage coming in on the multiple heroes. They will go over. That's going to be a second Ravage. Can they get a third Ravage? Yeah, the no, he's going to be hit by the Torrent. And now they've got the Arena down. They land the Spear on the Yang. And now he's going to be in dead. He's got the Aegis. But can he do anything? They only got the throne down at about half health. They've got Yang up. Once again, Super Air Spike comes in, but it's not going to be enough. They will go over at Yuris with another BKB. Ravage comes out once again. They will go over the Tempest Tunnel. They've got themselves the right click damage. Coming in from Sonnet's finger out. He's done gone. He's going to be dead for two minutes. Can they finally finish this game off with the BKB? Even oh. by Fly by Shark Shooter comes in on the Tempest Tunnel. The throne is getting low. 1600, 1400, but they're losing heroes on the side of Elephant. They just can't do it. Sonnet's trying to get in another throw. The right click. Oh. The right click. There's a cliff. The cliff. I can't believe it. The cliff. The Earth Spike comes in on the Mars. They've got the damage coming into the Tempest. Oh, oh, the Ark oh, oh, the throne. Elephant will do it. Elephant will do it. Sila is very low on mana already. And swell. Jumping in, going to the back lines. That's going to stun up this room. They get the kill on a fame, but they're going to drop down the arena with the BKB be popped by Chalice. They have the Dream Coil down onto Silar. It's going to be enough, though, to make this fight go their way. They already got the kill on the Rubik. He's not going to buy back for the damage on the FY. Blows him up. Inkswell not going to land on the Medusa, but now out of mana, potentially out of time. He does have the Aegis. They get the kill on the XM. The machine gun that is that Lena is gone. So Silar very vulnerable in this fight. Chalice trying to help out in any way that he can, but he was focused for a second, and they've got okay. themselves the silence to force that away. Silar trying to run. He's been hexed up. Stun once again. There's the Ravage coming up from Yang. They've got the Eclipse drop down on the Medusa. They take out Exnova. They'll take out Silar. Four heroes down on the side of Ehome. And that is a big victory here for Elephant. Can they get themselves the full team wipe once again? Chow's going into the pit trying to run away. Yang is that close. He might die. He needs to go up on the high ground. Blink throw strike. Ooh. Yules into the air. Maybe a little bit of miscommunication because that was the Yules coming out from the Lena. It doesn't matter anyway. They get the kill in a fade. They'll take the tier two tower up towards the top and maybe start their high ground siege. They've got an Aegis on Uris and the damage on the Silar. The cold embrace, the BKB, the Icarus side, the supernova on him. They're gonna try and finish it right here, right now. They'll get the kill next over the burst. Well the other side coming through on the two of these heroes. The supernova is gonna go off. They get the kill on the fate as well. Silar. Silar does not have buyback. Elvin's time is now. They'll go after Chalice. He's got the primal split after the AI just proxy just put that together. He had it locked up and will get himself the chance to go into the primal split. They died the tier three, but you gotta question whether or not they're thinking in the words of LGD or they're thinking in the words of OG because they don't want to go in too far. They don't want to dive the fountain, and they don't want to give this one away. Yeah. I should be careful, though. This guy, Yasha Dragonlance right now. Yeah. He's, he's shots available. Boy. They can go for X Nova. We'll see how willing Super is to just go for this. He's gotten a chance to maybe get a kill. Rocket Flare, Arctic Burn. That's going to be done. So now you go in with the hook shot. You've got the cog. Silars did to Yang. Off screen, Bushwhack coming through though, and now with the battery assault, sharpshooter, it might end up being a trade and should be. Chalice here with the thunderclap. Is this all? Super taking a lot of damage, and oh, Yuris <gasps> just turns this around, and he's got the damage out. Pretty good. Third over the map. 
He's gone again! Whoa! Base. <laughs> How to get him down? He's trying to kill my FPS. <laughs> they're gonna move in with the smoke, the blink as well as the ravage coming out immediately. They're gonna go over a field. Chava, they're getting the kill onto the Marana immediately. And now they've got the buyback as well as the kill onto the Mars. Sharpshooter comes in, but that's gonna be a whiff. They got the kill onto two of these heroes with that ravage coming up from Elephant. So. Buybacks available, creeps pushing in, game getting difficult here for RNG, down 55,000, but they've got Uris moving forward, he's going to get hit up into the air by that torrent, the right click damage is going to be enough, the first spike comes in, that's going to land on the field, they've also got the Uris split coming out from this little track, making it difficult for RNG to maneuver, overwhelming blink as well as the fallen sky back from flyby, so he'll... Where maybe Ehoma has nothing left in the tank. Potentially, TB dead for 60 seconds. They're gonna go for the mid set of racks. Ooh. Going and now they're finish. gonna go for four. The tier four is 50 seconds without TB. No glyph. They'll get themselves one. They're gonna get themselves a second. There's no glyph to work with. Eom have to make a move, but they've only got three heroes. They have the primal split. They're gonna get the vacuum one. A couple of these heroes. Another look over at XM. Silence. BKB, Static Link, on Somnus, but isn't even gonna matter. They got themselves both tier fours. They'll focus their attention onto the throne. Yuris waiting for XM to hit the deck. They've got the silence from them, the trap from Somnus, and another sight from FY Sharp Shooter, and they'll get the kill on XM. They'll buy back on the Razor, but it's not gonna it be over. Go GG. GG on Eom. Play against the Oriental. Will Blink Burrow strike to didn't go on a Silar, went onto the Winter Wyver, and beneficial for Silar, but will they stay? Winter's Curse gets used in death, so x is going to be the first one to fall. They've got the Eclipse coming down out on the Yang, but Sire, even with the BKB, the damage being taken is too much for him to handle! Fade, Sire, will follow suit in death as well as x -Nova. and now the LSA will miss with the Primal Split being used by Chalice, but this is to run. Mm -hmm. Level 30 be enough. Top lane, Mars caught. And they'll get the kill with the sharpshooter. FY has been playing a very good hoodwink. 6, 3, and 10. Landing those hunters. Boomerang, the sharpshooters, the bushwhacks. Uh, I'll just name every spell because he's hitting them all. And, well, doing a very good job to help get these pickoffs. Well, is 25, which will Ooh, make it more damage. And the tidal wave. Interesting move there as Yuris gets pulled back via the X. Let's see if he has the rest of the team to really help bail him out. He'll go into the Bloodstone, they'll pump the Ana Disc. Now they're going to go and try and get this kill. They'll look over at Red Panda, though. His Earth Panda getting low, and the rest of the Pandas are in trouble. And right up with him is this Lashrak. They'll get the kill to the Tempest Double. Fills up into the air. They've got the distancing with this sun right on the rack, so they should be able to at least take these buildings. Nobody's split pushing for the moment, and they've got themselves the glyph. Sun comes out once again. He's got that ag, so he has the second primal split with the BKB being popped by Yuris. Now they're going to go after this uh, another time with another stun. Again, fighting into this small area without BKBs is a little bit dangerous. They're now looking for Yuris, but they land the bushwick. They got the ravage coming through. Gush out, red panda. Now, he's got just one panda left. The arena comes down. The spear's going to win. Spear. It's kebab him. It's the double spear. A little shish kebab there for flyby. And now, can they follow it all up? Oh. We all bought back previously, so be careful. They might want to force a mid rex here. Blink, Arena, Spear, FY. He's got the A on this. Now the Hex comes through. They're going to have the arrow to follow that up. The damage coming in on FY is going to be too much for him to handle. They do have the buyback available on this Hoodwing, and they're going to use it immediately. But they disarm this TA. TA, four staff back here. Down 38,000. You're invading their base. The Arena, super. Uh oh. Tidal Wave comes in. He'll land the Earth Spike, but it's only out of the Tempest Double. The Hunter's Boomerang comes in and puts the target onto a lot of these heroes on the side of the Radiant. But you're without super for two minutes. They've got the right clicks coming. Through Melt Strike from Somnus, the Tempest Double finally falls, but Keystone needs to run and run. Can he? I'm not sure he can. Bushwhack is there from FY, and Yuris will get the kill on a Keystone. He's now dead for two minutes. And they also. Is it a remake or. Hex coming through. Now they're going to blink with the finger coming out as well as the Ravage. They've got the Smart down about half now. Can get the arena down. It's the close. Ravage dying. once again. Oh man, Third he's still one. not dead yet. How does he get the kill on a flyby? He's gonna buy back. They've got the glyph as they start to go in for the throw. They land the yeah. spear. Stop it. Another divine rave here on the deck. He's dead for two minutes. Fallen sky. It hits. They got Yang. They killed him.
Oh my Necros, lord! Necros. Divine Rapier is down on the deck again. They have fought back on the Tide Hunter. It was Ravage, 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 and they were still only enough to get Mars once. And all of a sudden, Samus, who's going for the throne, is now dead. The fight's raging out. They're going up here. He pops me, Kimmy. He's hit with an old fight. They've got the finger oh, coming in. Oh, 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 That's going to land. And the throne is getting low. Can they save it? They've got the dome. Oh, my. Divine Rape, you're now going to be picked up by Felix, who just uses buyback. They can't take fights outside the base that are going to take you on with creeps coming in. Yuris, super, oh, all coming oh, in. Oh, they oh. themselves. Thorn from the Earth Spike coming up from the Lion. Super trying to survive here with the Hex out of the track, but the throne is getting low. It's down to 1,300 health. Jordan Storm up into the air with the BKB being popped by Yang. Earth Spike lands on the Tempest. Double they found themselves the Fallen Sky that gets the kill on a Super. They've got buyback as well on both the track as well as the Lion, but the throne is now down low. It will start to regen, and Elephant can't put this game away. It's now only a 25,000 net worth lead when it was once a 60,000 net worth lead. Lead. Hookshot comes out on a Yang, and now they're going to move in with Chalice. They've got the wall down, but there's the time walk looking for the Chrono. He pumps faking for a second. The Cogs actually push him over to the side. Yours taking a lot of damage. The time walk forward. He get the Chrono out on this Dark Seer, but that's it. They get the kill on the fade. They'll use the Primal Split. They've got X Nova Dip. They'll support stand on the side of E-Home, and they'll fly back immediately with Yuris trying to output the damage out on the side with the BKB. He's getting bashed up, and he's in a little bit of trouble. They've got themselves Yang moving forward onto the Dark Seer. Chalice hit with the bush track. They'll get the kill onto a third. He doesn't have buyback. Now, Cyclone up into the air. XM in trouble. Now, the Silence out onto two from the trap that came out from the TA. Yang into the Primal Split once again. No, they've got themselves the Winter's Curse. So that That'll be some control. They'll catch Yuris for a second. He'll flicker away. Time walk. Get some of his health back, but it's not going to be a lot to work with. They're still looking at this TV who's cycling up into the air. Right clicks coming through on a fade. Time walk. That'll hit with the metal strike. They've got the kill on a fade once again. He's dead for 90 seconds without buyback. And now you're looking over at the rest. You've got the sharpshooter. <laughs> FY snipe silo. They gotta expect that they're coming around. Bushwhack, Nimbus, LSA on the two. Laguna Blade with the Winter's Curse. It's there. Supernova. It gets you off. They get the kill on a silo. Our Roche helps out. He's a fan of Elephant. They'll get the kill on X Nova. And Fade will die too. Zeus trying to get anything that he can. But XM has to turn around and leave this fight. Brewmaster in a lot of trouble with Eurus on his tail. Chalice will run, but he won't run far enough. And it's four kills for the side of El. And they're going to go in on this. They're already going to look. Terror Wave coming through on a Silar. He's trying to stand his ground on the loose and beam. That's going to be enough, but now he's four step back. He's got the cold embrace on the back line, so they look over at Fade. They've got the kill on the Chalice. There's two heroes that aren't going to be back into the fight. They don't have buyback. They'll use the refresher. They've got the hope shot in that lands on a Silar. The Nimbus is down. The Thunder God's Wrath isn't going to be enough damage into the jetpack. And now trying to run, but they get the kill on the Super. It's only Super. The buyback's out. Silar can't survive. He's got buyback. It's still a 3v5. The Nimbuses are down. The Mega Creep secured. The damage is out, but Somnus moves in with the BKB and the Blink forward. Yuris from the side in the trees has the refresher. There's the Terra Wave. Fearing them trouble. out of this qualifier. It's a full team wipe and Elephant will qualify.